afternoon from wherever you're tuning in. Uh, uh, today we have a session to talk about like unique ways to analyze data and how do you actually manage them on GitHub. So this is a really important session because it uh, teaches you on how to actually project document uh, data and data science models. So today we have Simranjit Singh, who is a functional analyst at uh, Tata Consultancy Services, and he's also a freelance data scientist. So thank you so much for being here, Simran. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Great. So do so, you want to mention we... a little bit about your uh, job role and what you do, like outside of yeah. as well? Yeah, yeah, sure. So like, uh... Currently, like I'm just work, working as a functional analyst in the TTCS, and uh, uh, my job role is all about like to analyze the analyze the data, analyze the data also, and uh, along with the to do data transformations as well to build a, a, a automation script and to find the root cause analysis also. But uh, alongside my that I'm always working with the like I'm kind of like building much and much more data science projects with the Python uh, and Spark as well. Like along with the I'm also uh, into more into the statistics part to get more like uh, to get more in insights and valuable information from the, from the data. So like okay, in this session, I'm just talking about the thing like. Like, what are the ways that we can apply on the data and get more insights? Like, what, what are the machine learning algorithms that we can use? Like, that kind okay. of thing. Got it. Also, like, uh, you mentioned that, you know, like, this is going to be your first uh, session that you're doing uh, in uh, online. So, yes, uh, yes. congratulations on that. So, I really hope you have more sessions to come. And I really hope your first experience is good. And we have uh, we have amazing audience here. So, uh, why don't you guys just put in where you're, uh, where you're joining in from and which, which city are you in currently? Okay, uh, great. Yeah, so, sure. Simran, do you want to maybe try tuning up your uh, audio? Uh, people are saying that it's cracking up a little bit. Uh, sure, sure, Simran. Uh, can I am uh, I am audible now? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, yeah, you can continue speaking. That that's when we. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I am just uh, starting the session. Uh, like, uh, I think it's an issue with the voice. It's just a minute. Yeah. No worries. So in the meanwhile, uh, Simranjit is putting out his, uh, like checking with his audio. Like, why don't you guys go ahead and put where you're joining in from? Okay, so we have Virginia, Houston, India, Ottawa. That's great. Uh, is I am audible now? Hello. Yeah, I think I, I can hear you now. So you can you can continue okay. with the session. If we have any issues, we can we can pause again. Okay, okay, sure. So I, I'm just uh, sharing my screen and we'll start the session. Sure. Uh, so guys, like uh, we have this, this uh, like a small presentation to like to and what are the things that we need to do with the uh, with the data that we get and also to uh, build a machine learning model on the data and also to represent that your whole project on GitHub as well. Uh, is my uh, yeah, it is visible now? It is visible, yeah. So like the first of all, the most important part in the data science is that the data science whole Life cycle. So, in the day's whole life cycle, we have the first thing that is domain understanding. Domain understanding means that what kind of issue, uh, what is the working model of your organization, and uh, what are the things that, that you want to get uh, insights from, from from the data. So, these all kind of understandings are called important. So, the first step is that you need a domain understanding of the problem. Second step is called data gathering, data staging from the different kind of data sources, and along with the data cleaning part. So, 
after the data cleaning part, data analysis part, which is also called data exploration or EDA. So these two parts are the most important part in any data. So like if you have uh, just uh, two or three hours to build a project, so you must have to spend your uh, 60 to 70 percent of time on data cleaning and data analysis because that is the most cru crucial part in any data science project. After that, we go and move along to the feature engineering part. So in the feature engineering part, we have the feature selection part, like what are the important columns that we want to use, and also the scaling and encoding parts. So these are the parts that we uh, use in our data science project that will make your data that will go to the machine learning model and machine learning model would understand the data. So make sure that all data should be in the numerical form because a machine learning algorithm or let's say our computer will understand the data in numbers. So part is the model implementation. So before model implementation, we have to select the machine learning model that we want to. Um, Sandra, I'm just going to stop you for one minute. I think like uh, your voice is not clear. Uh, let me let's let's try. Uh, can you like maybe drop off and join in again to the call? Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. Just a minute. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, in the meanwhile, if you have any questions um, about what he's presenting about like data science life cycle in general, please feel free to put that in the comments below. We'll be answering the questions through the presentation as well and through the end of it. So um, yeah, feel free to put in your questions there and uh, be more supportive guys. Like he, it's his first presentation. So be more supportive, like um, cheer him up with the questions and yeah, let's go ahead. Great, so I think he'll be able to join us. Okay. Yeah, sure. We'll we will be uh, recording uh, this as well. Hello. Uh, is my voice uh, audible now? Yeah, this is much better. Thank you so okay. much. So, so I will say next. Yeah, great. Thank you so much. So uh, could you could somebody on the um, on the panel just uh, mention if they can hear his voice clearly? Just put in the comments if you're able to hear the voice clearly. Okay, great. Yeah, so then you can just start. Okay, okay. So like uh, like uh, like the last part that I do, I, I can just repeat in a very short summary. The four in the data model is that domain understanding. So to understand the issue to understand the problem to to build a build a data science project need a clear domain understanding or a business understanding of, of the model like your complete in in, in industry uh, thing that you know the problem which you want to solve and then next part is data gathering data cleaning and data staging from uh, different kind like that and uh, after that we have a part data analysis so as I told that data cleaning and data analysis is the most critical part in any data science project. So if you are building a data science project, you have, you spend your 60 to 70 percent of your time on data cleaning and data analysis because those two are the most crucial part in any data science project. And after that, we have a topic called feature engineering. So in feature engineering part, we have feature selection. Like what are the most important columns that we have to choose from our data set? Uh, we have to scale our data to a single scale. Like uh, we have to scale the values of uh, like salary we have, we have like ages we have, like these kind of things we have to scale on a one scale, like from one to 10, like that kind of scale. And along with that, we have the encodings. The encodings are mainly uh, used when we have a category categorical data like male female true false and uh, they are 
kind of categories which are just more than two. So these are categories which you need, need to convert from uh, categorical data to the numerical data. So after all these things are done and our complete data is now in the part of a, a numeric asset, we will take the data to the machine learning model. So before taking the data to the machine learning model, we need a selection like what kind of model we use in our data set so that all the things we will discuss in this lecture in the in the upcoming slides so after the model implementation we have to the part of maintenance like we have to just keep training our data with the new data so that our model will work more and more robust in the production so as you see, like uh, that, uh, we have the most important parts uh, and implement in our data science project to make the best out of the data. So the first part is data analysis. So to do a data analysis, you can just understand from the part of data analysis is that you have to describe the data, the data in any way you want. Like the you you just want to apply any kind of statistical method, visualizations, outlier detections, nan or near of variabilities, like to check the skewness in the in the data or standard deviation, variance biases. So kind of things are done in the uh, data analysis part. So in, in our data, uh, I'm sorry. So in our data data analysis part the thing that uh, we have to do is just like that uh, we have to get, get the best out from the data we have to make a new columns if it is needed in the project like that so the next part is we can say that it is data, data cleaning so from the data cleaning part uh, we have to remove the and or null handle the outliers as well uh, to handle the imbalanced data, data, data set as well to do the fin like we get the uh, most important features from the data as well and along with we need the clean data like clean data according to our business understanding models and uh, along with that we have our next part statistical method so in our statistical method we used two types of statistics. First is descriptive statistics that I explained in the part of. Simran, I think uh, we lost you for the last few seconds. The voice is like breaking again. Um, okay. uh, just a minute. Yeah. I, I can. Uh, yeah. I think the problem is arising again. Uh, maybe let's do one thing. Like maybe let's uh, reschedule this to another time, and um, we'll we'll try to work with your audio, and then uh, then we'll do it again. Is that good? Yeah, yeah, it is good because I don't know like what kind of voice problem is there. Okay, no worries, no worries. So, um, guys, people who are uh, live right now, we will be uh, doing this session again. So uh, please check back again for the new schedule. So there seems to be some streaming issue. Uh, I am clearly able to hear him, but it seems like the audience is not. So it could be some issue with my streaming platform. So I will check that again. And um, uh, Simran, we can we can meet again and do this again. Is that okay? Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, sure, sure. Thanks a lot. It seems like there's some issue with my restreams uh, because I am able to hear you clearly, but uh, I, I see that there is an issue when when it's being streamed. So yeah, yeah. Because, uh, I, 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 I'm just doing the same same thing like uh, like doing it on my phone. I, let, I am speaking here. I can only hear my voice clearly, but I don't know like on that thing. Yeah, it could be. Uh, no worries. Let's let's reschedule this and we'll do this again. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Thanks a lot.